Have you been a good gamer, and have you followed the tutorial of this game? <laughs> Neither have I. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is DigiPolgyD and this is the first beginner's guide to Transport Fever 2 that I am making. So you just bought Transport Fever 2 and you want to know how to play this, right? Well, let me tell you, congratulations, this game is a huge time sink. I have spent over, well, at least 500 hours in the first game. Uh, over 100 hours in Train Fever and about 50 hours in Transport Fever 2 already. So, let me help you get started. First off, ignore the campaign for now. That's just if you want a linear story about how the game works. We're just gonna do a free game. The game will make a map for you automatically. You don't have to wait for it. Just click on Tropical or Tempered if you want another map kind and just use the sliders while the map is generating it will auto update automatically let's go for a bit more mainland let's do some hills that's fine so this medium industry low you can change that just by clicking on that right there i think i'll have enough cities or these white things and industries the yellow things to get us started you could set up your own game in the next screen i'll use the asian vehicles yeah let's uncheck custom uh, if you do the custom you can turn on the mods let me disable those these are for my um for my speed builds and if we go back i'm just going to go with the asian no, nope, with the Asian set, I'll start the year in 1850, the earliest you can go. That means you'll have the most time to play. Well, <laughs> basically, if you start at 2000, you can still have an endless game because the game has no ending. Um, I'll put this on medium. Or you know what? Let's put it on easy just to uh, to make it easier for all of us. Once all of this is done, you can start the game by hitting the start button right here. It'll take a while for the map to load in, but for the sake of YouTube magic, I'll just make a quick cut here and I'll see you when the map has loaded in. Okay. Hi. Okay. So, you have started the game. Let's pause it first so that we can take a look around the map and see what is going on. Um, The map looks a little something like this. And you can zoom in or out using the scroll wheel of your mouse and you can move around using WASD. Well, the first time you move around you have to use the right mouse button because I don't know if it's a bug but the WASD buttons don't work when you first open the map. When you take a look around the map you see a lot of cities and industries. All these cities need things like Kabul here needs goods and uh, gears. Machines. It needs goods and machines. You can take a look at the surrounding area and see where goods are being produced and where machines are being produced. None of them are really nearby. Well, there are goods being made here, so you can ship that all the way over to Kabul. Well, let's have a look at another city. Manila needs machines and food. Well, there's a, fact there's a farm here. Only way you need is a way to produce food from the farm like here this could be a perfect starting area you can take the food from the farm here and get it to the food processing plants have your truck ship it back to no sultan and then go all the way back to the farm so that's a basic simple and easy way to start up a game so uh, let's do that right away well, let's go to the farm first, because that's where the process starts. The uh, order doesn't doesn't really matter, but for the sake of the video, I'll start at the beginning of the chain. Um, once you click the road button right here, just with a little buzz on it, you'll go to the buildings and then you select uh, the truck station. You could put the truck station right next close to the farm. But I suggest you put it a bit ways away so that you can extend your truck stop later on with a train station or something else. So let's place one there. 
Let's place another one near our food facility. Make sure you have enough room for a train station next to it. Okay, let's place it right there. And uh, let's place one in the town. For the truck station, I usually take the outskirts of the town. And then I'll use an internal route to deliver it on the right street. You see all these little buildings with the bread on it. They all need that bread. So make sure you have a truck stop delivering the bread right in the center of that. You can use uh, one of these truck unload stops to put it smack down in the center. Like so. And now all of this area is being covered by this station. Let's click on it and then we can see how much it can cover. It can cover everything that needs bread. So that is awesome. Okay. Now, how does the game know what to do? Well, we'll just tell them where to go. We'll go to the line manager. We'll click a new line. And a line one shows up right here. We want you to go from the farm to the food processing plant to the truck stop in town. So the trucks will take up, will pick up the grain from the farm. It'll bring it to the food processing plant and then the bread and food will be dropped off on the way back at Nur Sultan Exchange. Okay, we made our first line. Let's name the line so that we know what's on it. So this is a truck line. You can name it any way you want, of course, but I think this is uh, the most easy way for me to tell what is what once you have a bunch of lines. So this is truck, it produces food and brings it to Nur Sultan. There we go. And we want a second line from the exchange to the drop off point. We'll call this one truck Nur Sultan internal. All right. That's that. Trucks will go here, go there, and go there. Uh, let's build a truck depot so that we can buy some trucks from that. Uh, same button. Go to the road vehicles, go to buildings, and then choose the road depot. Make sure you choose the road depot and not the tram depot because yeah, you don't need any trams right now. Place it anywhere near a road. Click on it. And you can buy some vehicles. Um... We don't want any passenger vehicles. Um, you can see it right here, the cargo type passengers. Uh, they won't pick up any food for you. So make sure you go for a cargo uh, truck or a cargo cart. Let's pick, uh, I don't know, let's go for uh, 10 right now. Let's buy 10 of the horse trucks and let's place them on the food truck route. All right. Our first line is set up and ready to go. So uh, let's speed up time a bit and see them move out. There they go. Look at that. Ten cards on their way to the farm. Okay, while we wait for the trucks to arrive back in our city with some food, they're still on the way to the farm, let's uh, make a passenger route in Nur Sultan so that people can be carried around by a carriage. Um, let's see, where do we want the exchange station to be? Let's let's put a bus station this time. So do not go for the truck station, go for the bus station and pick an area you would like it. If you want to rotate the building, use the M keys and the N keys to rotate buildings around. So let's place it right here so we have room for a train station uh, later on. It's going to be the start of our routes. Um, I do want to finish uh, this road up so that we have a nice loop for our bus to go around. Buildings, bus and tram stops. So this is our first stop. And uh, after that we'll go to here. Then we'll go there. And then we'll go there. And let's place a last one over there. 
that should be enough for now. Again, go to the line manager, pick a new line. Let's start there. Then we'll go to there and we're just going to click them all along the way. Like so, five stops in this route. This is going to be a bus line and it's the Nur Sultan bus line. Let's go back to our truck depot and let's buy some vehicles. We want some passenger cars now. And we want, I don't know, let's do six for now. And we'll place them on the bus trip, bus route for Nur Sultan. All right, first bus route is going. And let's see, have you got any food on you? You have four uh, grains, so that is going as planned. Nice. Do you all have four? Oh, are you all filled up? Because that is awesome. That means we get a decent amount of money from that. We have 87, 88 waiting there. That is, that's pretty much, that's, that's, that's a lot. They do have to go all the way from here to here. Later on, we will replace that with trains, but we don't have the money for that right now. So let's just choose another way to speed things up. Let's go to a medium country road, which has a higher speed limit. And let's just make sure we have a faster route. So instead of going all the way here and here, you can just, just cut off a piece by going right through the center. First people are waiting on our bus stations. Two people waiting there. Let's see, they're picking them up now. There they go. Let's see, where do you get off? We go to this stop. Well, one did. This game is so awesomely detailed. I love it. The trucks are cutting right through the center of town. We should do something about that later on because that means there will be a lot of emission once we um, go to regular trucks instead of horse carriages. But that's a problem for later on. One thing I would like to advise you is if you are not building anything or using your money for anything, Use your money to repay the loan you have. You start the game off with a loan. And believe me, you want that paid off as soon as possible because you pay a lot of interest for that. Okay, the first carriage is almost at the truck stop with four, with four uh, grains. Let's see how much that makes us. 22 grand per carriage. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see if we can get some food already. You did not pick up any. You didn't, are you using the line? You are not using the line. Maybe that's because we are not shipping it anywhere. So we need to put some trucks on the internal route. Well, let's buy some vehicles. Let's do, I don't know, four. And let's put you on the Sultan internal line. And with that, the bread should appear in our truck stop pretty soon. So the next shipment, it should show up right there. 115 waiting there. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, we need to get a train on there as soon as possible. <laughs> but that's something for the next tutorial or beginner's guide video. Ladies and gentlemen, I th I hope this helped you along to start the game. I am having a blast with it. I hope after this video you can have a blast with this game as well. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If this helped you, then please, please rate this video a thumbs up and leave a comment telling me uh, what exactly helped you along. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more Transport Fever 2, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!